software engineering fundamental so here i am referring this book roger pressman software engineering a practitioner approach publisher is mc grow hill so first we will see the introduction to the software engineering so firstly we will see what is software so software is a product which is developed by the software professionals and it used worldwide so this software is contained programs which is executed step by step so this is nothing but a software so software is used in industry as well as uh, individual person also use software so let's say uh, on a regular basis we all use whatsapp we all use number of applications on our mobile phone so this is nothing but a software so what is software engineering uh, it's a framework which is contain process some set of methods and array of tools this is nothing but software engineering so then we will see what is nature of software so software has a two role the very first is a product and the second is a vehicle for delivering this product so you can open software in your mobile phone as well as in your laptop or computer software is delivering most important product that is nothing but information and this information is so uh, we also manage the information of business also the software is provide us a gateway for acquiring the information so on a regular basis we all of us use browser so browser is nothing but a software so with the help of internet you can acquire the information so this is how the nature of software then we will see the characteristics of software there is a three characteristics of software the very first is software is developed or engineered it's not manufactured in the classical sense so there is a similarity in between the software development and hardware manufacturing but the fundamentally both are different that means the base of these both are different so in both uh, means in software development and in hardware manufacturing we are achieving the high quality if we design if we if we have a good design if it is in problems come in software development then it can be an easily corrected and in both we develop a product means in software engineering in, sorry in software development we also develop a product and in hardware manufacturing we also we also develop a product but the approaches to develop the products are different the second characteristics of uh, software is software does not wear out so this is the uh, images which i refer from this book that is which roger pressman software engineering practitioner approach so from this figure we will understand that this figure is failure curve for hardware so this is the bathtub curve this is called bathtub curve so if hardware failure that means uh, there is an defects in manufacturing so there are so many reasons for the hardware failure like cumulative effect of dust vibration abuse temperature extremes and so on so uh, but hardware begins to wear out that means if there is an error is coming into the hardware then we can replace by a spare part so that that's why the hardware begins to wear out but this is the second figure this is failure curve for software again this figure i am referring from this book that is roger pressman so uh, if it is a failure rate curve for in software it should take in the form of as an idealized curve so if there is a failure in a software that means your software is failed there 
is a nothing as a uh, spare part for the software that's why software does not wear out that means if there is a failure in a software then we cannot replace by spare part that's why software does not wear out so as shown in uh, the figure this is the actual curve so when changes are made your curve to be spike then again error occur again your curve is to be spike so so this is uh, happen again and again and again so that's why your software is deteriorating that means your software is failed so if uh, if i tell you the difference between the hardware and software with respect to the wear out then if your hardware is a fail then you can replace by a spare part but if your software fail then you cannot replace by a spare part there is no add such spare part for the software and hardware maintenance is so easy if we compare with the software so that's why we call as software does not wear out but hardware begins to wear out the third characteristic is although the industry is moving toward component based construction and most software continues to be custom built uh, when we develop any software so uh, we can use something from the existing system that means uh, we can use reusable components so that you can morely focus on the innovative elements of your design means for uh, there are so many components uh, which is which is you can use uh, reusable as a reusable component like your graphics window your pull down menu these are some components we can use as a reusable component so that you can morely focus on the innovative part of your software design so this is software engineering practice this is the uh, new point so in this software engineering practice it some contain understand the problem that means before we, we start actual implementation we should communicate with the customer and all the stakeholders uh, for what exactly customer what want what exactly stakeholder want what is our objective what is the requirements and so on so this is nothing but understand a problem so understanding the problem is also uh, important so for understanding a problem we require more time because we if if we not understand the problem we cannot actually develop the software so it's 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 maybe a time consuming but it is very important so these are some question uh, which you should know the answer of every question before move forward that is before move to the next step the very first question is who has a stake in the solution to the problem that means who are the stakeholder which are uh, which is involved in this problem to find out solution the second question what are the unknowns there are so many unknown factor is unknown factor is so we should identify those unknown factors like data function features and so on third question is can the problem be compartmentalization that means uh, can we divide our problem into the uh, you know smaller part so that it will be easy for it is easy for understanding the last question is can the problem be represented graphically if you represented your problem in a graphical way then it is easy to understand the second step is for software engineering practices plan the solution so in this we have a very first question we should know this answer have you seen similar problem before and has a some similar problem been solved that means whatever your problem statement is there existing one or not you should check it and if it is an existing one that means someone is already have this problem and already solved this problem so you should first identify this also can sub problem be identified that means if if it is yes 
that means if sub problem is identified the second question is can sub problem be defined if it is yes then solution for that is there or not the third question can you represent a solution in a manner that leads to effect effective implementation means whatever uh, we find out a solution is it effective when we implement that means whatever you find out a solution when actual implementation is uh, there then that whatever you find out the solution is it effective while you are implementing the third uh, steps for the software engineering practice is carry out the plan so with the help of a plan you can uh, design system very easily but uh, when you go forward your plan may change but for the initial stage you required the plan so the first question you should ask yourself that is does the solution conform to the problem that means is your source code is mapped with the design model or not the second question is each component part of the solution probably correct that means is design code is review or it's need to be corrected or whatever applied proof on algorithm is it correct or not so you should check all this the last step of your software engineering practice is examine the result that means whatever you are find out in a solution is may or may not be a perfect but you should design the test cases in such a way that it will cover all the possible errors and we should validate the software against all the stakeholders requirement means whether the based on the requirements your software is developed or not uh, as per the objective your software is developed or not and so on this all the things you have to check thank you